everyone. Welcome back. Um, this is Mandy and thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I am going to try to do um, a negative space swipe using the Bloom recipe on this 12 inch MDF board. Um, I have to do it relatively quickly so I'm going to kind of go through the colors as we go along. I'm going to use Glidden um, Glidden Premium Eggshell as my pillow. I have a mixing recipe or mixing video below in the description box. I've been um, been kind of toying with being a little bit more adventurous in the way I do some of these swipes instead of always kind of playing it safe. Um, and that was actually watching one of Nikki's videos this morning from oops Nikki D Art, and I love the composition. Um, obviously, she did something very different in, than what I'm going to use in this video, but she used a, a painting knife that I don't usually use for swipes. I usually use them for the swirlies. And so I really liked the composition, and I liked the way she did the initial swipe. So that's what I'm going for is to kind of um, swipe the initial swipe in a similar way to challenge myself. But like the end result will have literally nothing to do with what she accomplished because she did some more like amazing stuff with a catalyst wedge and all that. I'm not I'm not doing all that. I'm just trying to um, kind of draw inspiration from the way she's swiped it out. So now obviously she's a little bit better at that than I am. And uh, so I'm not saying it's going to turn out like I think it will in my head. But you know how that goes. We give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to use a mixture of um, paints. Pigments, Prism Pour, and Boom Gel. I'm still not really sure where I want to land on some of these colors, so I'm just going to start putting things down and kind of see where we go. So this is Matisse Indigo. I'm going to put this down first. And move that guy out of the way. Look what I just did. What the heck? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm really behind the eight ball and getting a video out this week, so I'm really sorry about that. This is a primary element called Fantasia. I have this one mixed. Well, this one's actually mixed. I thought it was too thin, but it's a little bit thicker than I thought. So before I do that, I'm going to put some uh, Parrotfish Boom Gel stain down. And I have coupon codes in the description box below for color art. So you can get anything from the Color Art website, save 20% off using Mandy1120, all lowercase. And then where I buy my Boom Gels and my Australian Flow Trawl is Pixel Paint Designs. So there's a 15% off code there for you. It's Mandy15 in all caps. Um, so don't forget to take advantage of those discounts. So the next color is stupid bubble. Fantasia. This is from the Summer Sequence set, I think, from Primary Elements. I had some of these mixed up a little thin, so sometimes when I'm going to do a swipe, I'll incorporate some of those that are a little bit thinner because it's not quite as big of a deal on your consistencies with swipes as it is other things. All right, next up, I'm going to use Azure Moon. Super beautiful color. This is from the most recent set. And I have a link to the most recent set in the description below as well. And next up, we're going to use... I'm really torn, actually, about what to do next up. This is Chrysocolla. This is also from the most recent set. Beautiful color. So we're gonna put this one down here. Wow, that was a lot. I probably have way too much paint as usual. This one is, I think I just made an executive decision. Maybe not. This one is Northern Sky. This is a prism pour color. Beautiful color. 
I don't think I've used this one yet. That's how it ended up in here. It hasn't made its debut at my house. Okay. Now I really have enough color on there, but here I go. Keep going, right? Um, this is Eucalyptus. This is from the most recent Primary Elements set. And, whoa, almost fell off my stool. And this is, this is Water Dragon, which is a prism pour color. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of that on. We have a lot of dark colors right at the top, which makes me a little concerned that I didn't layer these very well. Um, and then this is Neptune's Gaze. This is also a prism pour color and one of my favorites. I probably say that about all of them. But I just love the shade of green. It's so pretty. I'm going to use a black and white cell activator today. I'm going to layer it on my tool. Black is going to go down first, so it will be the last one out. I'm using the Titanium white cell activator from Graham for the first time. You know what? I really don't like to torch, but I'm about ready to torch these. And um, I know I like the black one, so I'm using the titanium white one from Graham. I am going to put some boom gel over the top, so we're going to put parrotfish. That may actually be too close in color to this, but I think we'll take some chances. Parrotfish green. Actually, this is Mulga Parrot Green. We use Parrotfish Green on the bottom. And here we go. Really have way too much paint. This is what happens when I really kind of rush, but you know. I like to put Boom Gel underneath the cell activator at the top because tends to create some really cool effects. I'm also going to put a little Mally Ringneck Blue. It's generally a good idea to put a base layer that's a regular acrylic paint versus a pigment or whatever, and a top layer that's a regular acrylic paint just for stability. Um, so that's just something I generally do. doesn't mean it's an ironclad rule. Um, but it is something I kind of generally follow. All right, so I'm going to use this tool today. I normally only use this tool for um, swirly things, but I'm going to try it. So Nikki, if you happen to see this, your video inspired me as usual. I really want to torch that. Give me a second. You shouldn't torch anything with the bloom recipe so don't follow my bad example but I didn't really have time to deal with those bubbles so I torched it real quick okay so let's layer the cell activator black first and then white okay so what I do is kind of put a generous amount and then spread it around with my finger get rid of any excess Okay, so here's what we have. Try not to drip on here. Um, so nervous. So I'm gonna go like this. This is why this makes me nervous because of the way it's angled. It doesn't always swipe very well. I 
And that is way more dramatic than I intended. Ooh, but look at those cells. It's pretty amazing. That's not a good line. I did not do a good job right there. I'm a little heavy handed sometimes with this stuff. But look at the cells. Beautiful. Okay. Cleaning off my tool. I don't like the way this turned out here. Let me see if I can't kind of do some damage control there. Um, I have paint all over me, so. Um, I am gonna have to deal with some of these bubbles. I really hate how this turned out. So I'm gonna try to make that look like I did it on purpose. This that I just did is going to spin out to be a mess. So let me see if I can fix it. There, that might actually work. And this here is also going to be somewhat problematic. But if we make it look intentional, happy accident kind of style, that might work. Most of that's going to come off. So then this, I'm going to make this look like I did it on purpose, even though you guys will know the secrets, because I did not. And this, and this, and I'm taking the narrow end of my skewer when I'm messing with this. Here, I need to open this up a little bit, so. Some of that's gonna spin off, so I'm not, whoa, I got lightheaded. I'm not super nervous about that, but I wanted to break up all that cell activator that seemed to be kind of taken over there. Um, so here, I'm gonna go like this, and then like this, and then like this. I think some of this will come off, but what I'm a little afraid of is this is gonna become gigantic. So, um, I'm not sure the best way to deal with that yet. So I really, I'm going to just leave that for a second while I think about it. I really like the way this started over here. And I think this looks super cool. It's just weird how this, it's because I got into the pillow paint when I was swiping, which is challenging not to do. So let me see here. Part of me thinks I need to, to wreck this somehow to keep it from looking really crazy when we spin. So, um, don't know the best way to approach that. Okay. Um, I, I think if I don't go through these two cells right here, what will happen as this expands is those will become like huge and weird looking. So that's why I just did what I did. I like this here, but it um, it almost looks out of place. So this is probably gonna fly off. This might expand over here. So let's see what happens if we spin gently. Wow. This is really cool. I, I mean, maybe not what I intended, but really cool. Okay, this right here, concerning me a little bit. I kind of need this to follow 
a little bit better of a line. Okay. You can only really um, embellish up to a certain point because once you get enough of the pillow paint off, almost anything that you do is gonna be a little bit more noticeable after that. So just keep that in mind when you are messing with it. You're gonna do most of what you do early on in your piece. See, like right now, I like it with this orientation. I think that looks cool. But we still have to get some paint off, so bummer there. Because so far, what's on there, I like a lot. But we're gonna lose a lot of this, and this is getting to be really big. So, huh, I was right that this kind of went to the end. Um, but I put too much pillow paint on here, and now we almost have to get some off. I don't know, it's not wiggling. Are you gonna survive if you dry like this, little painting? Um, maybe it will. Let me see. Let's give it one more gentle spin. See how much paint goes flying off of there. This is kind of exactly what I had in mind with the colors, so happy. Cell activator, from what I can see, worked great. Um, yeah, so it's kind of funky. What do y'all think? I'm gonna clean my hands and bring you down for a close up. I think I wanna try this again with some other colors and kind of just get better at how I swipe the tool. Um, Cause this worked out okay right here, but this line wasn't supposed to be such a crater. It was supposed to be a thin line, but you know, you gotta practice, right? So let me bring you down for a close up. Be right back. All right, everyone. So here's our close up. I do like it in this direction, personally. Maybe a little bit more like this. What do y'all think? It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm trying not to obsess about the fact that these weird little lines are not perfectly symmetrical, but I still need to pop some bubbles. But look at the beautiful colors and how beautiful they kind of all go together. We have some kind of ghost cells from the cell activator going over the pillow. I will say, I love Gram for blooms, but you see how much thinner these ghost cells are than when I use the Atelier? The Atelier is so thick, so when you get these pillow cells, they hold their structure really well, um, even though they're just kind of swiped over the pillow. I think this part is really cool. So that's one reason I like that cell activator for swipes. This part looks a little weird to me, but like the whole picture, it looks good. So I just, I had to get past my thought that everything has to be even and symmetrical and all that. Anyway, the beautiful, beautiful colors. So don't forget to take advantage of the discount codes below. Let me know what you think. Did you like this experiment? Would you like to see more of these funky looking swipes? Um, I enjoy doing them. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.